Welcome to today's video. Welcome to my channel if you are new here. I today am doing a fully furnished apartment tour, finally. It is not complete. It is not up to par with what I wanna do with the space. If we end up staying here, we still don't know if we are or not, but I do want to make this space a little bit more elevated and switch out some furniture and just do a switch up because some things we have had for a while some things we've had since our last apartment which is not bad but as we get older i want to really invest in some really nice things for our home and that's kind of what i've been working on and what i will be working on for the next few months so with that being said today i'm going to share with you how i kind of decorated a little bit for the fall time and also give you a breakdown of where everything is from. Since filming this video, I did switch out a few things here and there, not anything major, but some things I did switch. And as I'm going through giving you a tour, I will include small clips of what I ended up switching in that specific space. Anything I can find online that we have in here, I will link in the description box for you guys to go ahead and easily shop everything. If you are a returning viewer of mine, or if you even if you just stumble across this video, I hope that you subscribe to this channel for more videos. And without further ado, let's get into it. We'll start over here in the small dining area. I have these chairs that I picked up from Amazon, as a matter of fact, and I don't know if they're still in stock, but these were a score because I was looking for something that was neutral, that was not white. These chairs are actually more of a gray tone, as you can see there. Our table here is from Living Spaces. This table was like under $300 and it was such a score as well. We got this one and I wanna say a few days later it was sold out again. So I'm glad we ended up getting that. The chairs are a little bit bigger for the table but we've made it work and I haven't really had any issues with that. So I really like that combination. And then right now for fall time, I just have this here. The vase is from Target and then the faux stems are from Amazon as well and i just like it because it adds a little pop and i have this plant in the corner i've had this for a while it's from target i do like that it kind of fills up the space right there i can probably just do something different as the centerpiece and then we also have this mirror i got this mirror online from build.com i believe it's called it was the only one i was able to find for a decent price and that was this big i will say the frame on this one did not come in black I spray painted it black, it was a blue color. And so if you're looking for a huge mirror and you cannot find a black trimmed one, just buy one like I did that's a different color and then just spray paint the trim black. That door right there is a door to our garage, which um, is a mess. There's a lot of stuff. Moving on to our kitchen area. Here we have a nice, big countertop it's not really considered an island because it's all connected but you know what i mean and i really love this i don't love the granite countertop i wish it was something a little bit more modern but it's fine from this view here you can see we have these bar stools these are from target and i originally wanted to get something different something more like a wood like this here a warmer wood but they didn't have any in stock and I've been looking ever since and I still can't really find any that are nice. So I just have these that are more of an oak, a little bit industrial and I like them. They're not the most, most comfortable, but they're also not super uncomfortable either. They work for the space. And then I have this here, which is our knickknack vase. We throw the keys in here. We throw masks, pens, coins, just anything 
that we have in our pockets or our purses or whatever from throughout the day that we just want to dump somewhere we'll throw it in there that way the counter area is free because i was noticing that when we would get home we would put keys and all that right there and it would just look really messy and i also have this hand soap right here this is just regular hand soap and dish soap but i put them in these bottles from amazon just to keep it nice and clean looking and it comes with the labels as well so that's really nice and then this tray here is from target i got it in like the three dollar section i think it was like three or six dollars and i just have it sitting on there with the three things that way it looks like it's like polished and put together in this corner i have a recipe book and then i have my list pad right here for any groceries that we end up needing from throughout the week i just jot it down and that way i don't forget when i go to the grocery store what we need this tray is from target it is a really large wooden tray that you can use pretty much anywhere on here i just have our paper towels and then i have some fruits and then in this corner we have a coffee maker so that's an overview of our kitchen we do have a small pantry area which isn't really organized at all i haven't taken the time to organize this whatsoever except for right there and then up there we have chips and liquid iv is just real life the other update is the coffee machine i told you guys that we had a keurig and now we have the nespresso i originally wanted the white one but i went ahead and just got the matte black since we do have matte black accents in our home and i love it so far but i did want to show you this I did not organize the pantry, but I did add this organization touch to it with all of the pods for my Nespresso. I think this is so neat. Plus, it's nice and hidden behind here, and I don't even have to look at it. And that thing, you can stick it onto anything if you want. You can put it on the side next to your Nespresso or whatever the case may be, but I just have it in here tucked away so that I can't see it. And then we can move on to the living room, which this is one of the areas that I felt like I couldn't really figure it out along with the office. So we ended up keeping our old TV stand that we had at our previous apartment. It's just, it works, it's functional, it stores what we needed to store. And I haven't been able to find something that I really like in order to upgrade from this one i ended up adding some coffee table books over here which i'll show you right now and then we have a little bit of decor going on here pompous here is from tj maxx i got this some time ago and then the vase which is not a vase it's a lantern but you can use it as a vase it's from home goods and then here i have my diffuser my diffuser drops and then just this piece of artwork i guess you can call it from home goods you can see the cord here which i don't love but i just like having it propped up on this stand that i got from bed bath and beyond that stand is a drink dispenser but i ended up just using it for that since we didn't have any other use for it so then from there we have our coffee table books these are the ones that i have sitting here architectural digest and tom ford i got from amazon and the homebody one I got from Target, I want to say. And then this pumpkin right here is from Home Goods. This plant we have it cornered here is from Hobby Lobby, and so is the pot or the vase, whatever you want to call it, the holder that is also from Hobby Lobby. And I kind of like that it fills up this corner too. I have not filled up the wall with photos so what I meant to do with this wall was print out black and white photos and I haven't gotten to that because I wanted to instead only do four frames and four frames that way it's not too close to up there and I don't know I just felt like the four and four would look better but we just haven't came across somebody who can do it for us so we just kind of kept it that way was contemplating on painting the frames black just so it would match with the other stuff that's in here because the gold looks good, but it's just kind of seems random at the same time. Our couch, I love. It is so comfortable. Only thing is, it is obviously already lived in, so it can look a little bit messy. Sometimes we have to fluff it up to make it look nice. 
and then the color of it is literally the exact color of the wall so it kind of i don't know i don't really feel it sometimes but we haven't upgraded the couch we haven't painted the walls we haven't done anything about it to make it better so this is what we work with and then i have this blanket in the corner this is from target i loved that it added a pop of color and it made it feel a little bit more cozy and not so black and white in here the rug here i'm surprised it's it stood in here for as long as it has because i'm usually a very simple person when it comes to decor and i like minimal looking things and then adding touches of texture and things like that so when i saw this patterned one something about it just drew me to it and originally this rug was supposed to go in the office i put it in there and it did not look good so i put it in here and i actually kind of like it these stools are from home goods and i scored on these because these were i want to say 49.99 and i found two of them at the same location and i think they are perfect whenever we have company over we will gather around the couch and we'll play uno on the table or we'll play board games or just if we need extra seating these are really nice options to have and then on here we just have this tray from home goods which i love i've repurposed this tray so many different times and in so many different rooms and ways and it just works so i added this huge candle from target and then i have a few coffee table books on here as well and just a little pumpkin to tie in the fall vibe going on over there moving on from the living room we have this hallway one thing i will say that i love about this place is the high ceiling i love 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 that all of the rooms have high ceilings so that's definitely my favorite i do wish we had something a little bit more grand on this wall especially being that that's the first thing that you see when you walk in for the most part i just want to want to find some better artwork for that area if we do decide to stay here and we have our guest bathroom which this is technically darius's bathroom this is where he has all of his shower stuff and just where he gets ready for the day and in here all i have are some i have put a candle in there for him and a pumpkin hand soap some febreze of course and we don't really have much decor when it comes to our bathroom just because i feel like it already looks pretty good as it is and it doesn't need much i did add a plant in here just to add a little something to his bathroom so it wouldn't just be all white and then we just have a shower curtain right there he has a good amount of storage space you know he puts towels up there and down there he has toilet paper and extra stuff and he stores like his hair stuff in the drawers and whatnot so that is bathroom number one and then we have a coat closet i guess you can call it or a broom closet right here and in here i have stored our vacuum some tripods a broom and then just these cubbies this i got all of this i got from target the cubby and then the actual storage bins as well and then we have extra storage up here where i put our air purifier and then candles and stuff are in there but i like this because it keeps it very clean looking and we're able to store whatever we need to in this nook before i get into the bedrooms the last thing we have right here is the laundry area so i really really love that we have a washer and a dryer in here because we did not have our own in our old place and that's just that makes a huge huge difference so it's not perfectly clean you know we'd have some laundry sitting on here because i just washed all the sheets and stuff but i have this somewhat organized i just have some little flowers over here i didn't mean to leave that i wanted to add something else and make it look a lot better in here but i just added that for now and then i did a laundry organization video and this is how we ended up doing the final 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 thing scent boosters right here we also have our pods detergent pods softener just some flowers these right here are dryer sheets and then these are extra things that we don't really have a spot for here we can go down the hall and we have the 
office. I am liking the way that this is slowly coming together. I think the only thing now that's needed in here is a rug, which I have not been able to find one, being that the undertones of the paint and of the trim are different. I don't even know what kind of style this office is. I would say it's a mixture of modern, with a little bit of industrial with the handles for the drawers back there and i don't know i just really love the tones it's cozy feeling and it's not too bright white which i used to have it like that and i do like the bright white look still but i just wanted to mix it up a little bit so this desk right here is from i believe i got it from wayfair it did come cracked and i never end up returning it but it's this crack right here and I've just kind of left it as, as is because you can't really, you know, tell. But I like that it's a pure white and then it does have silver legs. Only thing about this one is that it isn't high enough. So my legs hit underneath here, which is kind of frustrating. I wish the desk was a little bit taller, which I did not think about. So I may end up selling this one and switching it up for something different just because of the comfort. But I do like that it's just simple white desk and on here i have this candle that is from h m i do have a phone holder right here for when i am on facetime or when i am on my phone and on my laptop at the same time or if i'm filming an instagram story or something i have this stand i do have the one that everybody has it's like the white one with the red on it and that one is good but it covers the speaker underneath my phone and i don't like that so i just have a freestanding one because it works a little bit better. And then this faux plant or these faux stems are from Target. It came already with this vase. And I had this actually set over there. But I ended up moving it to this area to add something to the desk. The tray is from Amazon. Laptop stand that matches the phone stand. And I like it because it's adjustable. I can move it up and down and I mainly like to use this to keep my back straight and my posture correct when I'm on my laptop and also for when I'm cooking I can put this on our countertop raise it up and I can watch YouTube videos while I'm cooking and then the computer chair is from Amazon I got it temporarily until I'm able to find the perfect chair for this space because this does obviously look a little bit more like an office chair and I want some something that's more modern and then I have a blanket right here just to keep it cozy and to add a little texture to the office space and then I will link this blanket too. Occasionally I do move the desk over here to this area so I can look outside of the windows but for now I just have it here because I can still look out when I'm facing this way but sometimes I, ju I just like to switch it up for a change of scenery and then in this corner i have the same mirror that we have in the bedroom i have it here for when i take outfit pictures or whenever i need to shoot something i will either leave it in that corner or i will move it over here and then over there is my closet which i will briefly show you in a bit that olive tree it's a faux olive tree that is from amazon i think it's pretty realistic looking from far it is a little bit more green but I think it looks good. And then I have it in this right here that is from Home Depot. It looks like it's ceramic, but it's not. It's plastic. And I put some moss in there to make it look a lot more realistic. Then over here, this drawer, this dresser is from Ashley Furniture or ha Ashley Home Store, I believe is their new name. I never thought I would go for something this dark, but I do like the contrast that it gives with everything else that's going on in the room and it adds a bit of a modern look to it but then the handles again make it a little bit more industrial feeling and looking and then i got these frames here from target and you could add your own pictures in there if you want to but i just kept it like that because i like the simpleness that it has i got this you can use this for jewelry or for other stuff it's from Target. You could open it up and store stuff in there. And then I got this ceramic vase from Home Goods. And the frame I got from IKEA, but the artwork I got off of Etsy. And then our lamp is from Home Goods. And that is what the office space 
looks like. Only other thing that we have in here is a trash bin and a paper shredder because I'm constantly shredding paper and mail. And last but not least, in here is my closet, which is not as organized as I would love it to be. Right now, I have it organized by sleeve length. So I have all of my spaghetti strap dresses here. And then I have those organized by color. And then I have all of my short sleeve dresses organized by color. And my long sleeve ones organized by color. But I think what I want to do is organize all the dresses by color. And like the red, for example, the red long sleeve ones, add those to the red section, but put them behind the spaghetti strap so that all the red stuff is together. And then once it's together there, they're organized by sleeve length. Because the way I have it right now makes the closet feel messier, even though it's technically organized by sleeve length and color. So I don't know. That's just a little <laughs> thought. This is one thing I need to find a solution for because my closet's pretty tight and small. And I don't really know how to store my bags and like I have my makeup stored over here too. So I just have to really maximize the space. I could add some shelves right here and do makeup storage up there. So I have this floor space for something else. I don't know. Next up, our bedroom. And this is my personal favorite. It is the one room that I feel is completely done. And so I'm gonna run through and just give you some details in here. So as far as our bedding, I do get many people ask where our bedding is from. So here's the breakdown. This throw that we have on top or this blanket is from the Casa Luna collection from Target. It is a really beautiful knitted beige blanket and this is in the queen size. I had the king size before and it was just way too big even for our king size bed so I think the queen just looks a lot better for a throw and you can see it goes down a good amount and even on this side as well goes it's pretty pretty long and then this blanket that we have on top this textured blanket is from home goods it's like a sham I would say it's just really really lightweight but I love it because of the fact that it adds texture to our bed and it keeps the comfort of the bed while giving it more of a clean look and what I mean by that is we do have a full-on comforter or a duvet under here and a duvet cover which keeps our bed feeling super plush and it feels like a hotel because of how thick it is and just it's the best it's made like in here there are feathers and it's just so 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 comfy and i have not been able to find the perfect duvet and duvet cover for our bed that actually covers the mattress because a lot of the king size duvets and duvet covers that i found are very short so i had to get like an ultra king one i'll link the exact one that we have below as well as the cover it is pricey but bedding is something that you do not want to cut corners on because it is so key and this just makes our bed so comfortable so we have that on top of just like you know our mattress and our sheets and then on top of that we have the coverlet to keep it nice and clean looking because of what I find with duvets with these right here it, it makes the bed look a little bit more undone which a lot of people like that look but for me i like more of a clean like look like that versus more of the worn in like wrinkly comfy look if that makes sense so that's why i like to put this over top just to make it look nice and clean and it's just when we get in bed it feels so good i cannot even explain it we literally call it our hotel bed because it literally feels like a hotel bed when you lay in it and that's my favorite thing our headboard is from all modern slash wayfair i'm pretty sure wayfair also sells it on there too i love it it is more of a creamy headboard it's a little bit lighter than the walls as you can see but it's not a pure white like the pillows if that makes sense so it's like a grayish beige and i just love you do have to vacuum it often and clean it because when we lean our heads on it, sometimes it gets dirty. So just keep in mind. But we've had it for some time. And because it's more of a linen material, it's kind of easy to clean. So 
we definitely don't mind it and I love the simple look that it has and then our pillows the pillow inserts the insides are from Amazon I'll link the ones that I purchased and the exact size down below as well and then the covers I got these covers with a duvet set from Target a while ago I don't know if they sell these individually but if they do I will link them and so I like them because again they have a texture to them but they're just like a pure white so it goes perfectly with the rest of our bed and even though we do have more simple colors in here we do have different textures so i have my silk pillowcases and then i have the textured euro pillows that we have a throw that has a knit material and then we have the textured white one so layering it to your desire is definitely key and just having fun with the textures if you do like more of a simple look so that is what our those are all of the bedding details and so i have three euro pillows i have my two silk pillowcases and then darius has his two back here as well he likes the regular pillowcases so i don't put the silk ones on there but i like silk for my hair so that ends up working for us as far as the mirrors on the sides the mirrors are from ikea and these are the mirrors that i want to get for the dining room and i want to put two next to each other to really accentuate that area of the dining room so we'll see if i end up doing that but that's where those black ones are from and whether we stay here or not i think the setup for our bedroom is pretty much going to stay the same because i love it the only thing that i would switch in here are the lamps those lamps are really cute. I got them from Target, but I just don't feel like the scale of them is for the room and for the dresser. I think we need something a little bit bigger or something round because we have a square or a rectangle mirror and then we have a square nightstand. I think like a round vase-like lamp would look really pretty. I just haven't found the right one. So we just have these from Target and I have it in this corner too. And then this remote that controls our nightstand lights and I always keep it right here because when we get thirsty at night and we need to turn the lights on it's just nice to have a remote for it so that is that our bedding our nightstands are from Macy's I think Macy's sells them but we got them from an outlet nearby however i do remember seeing these on macy's if they still have them on there i will link them for you guys but i love these and then we do have the matching dresser too we found the whole entire set for a really good deal and so it just ended up working perfectly and i actually like the matching set look i didn't think i would but i like that we just have the dresser and the nightstands not like the bed frame and all that stuff i think you know customizing a little bit is nice so that's where this dresser is from hey um <laughs> and then on top here we just have these stems that are from hobby lobby i added them here for a little bit of fall home decor let me close the blinds here so you can see better yeah so i added that in that corner just for some fall vibes in here it's not much but it's something and that little pumpkin and then of course in this corner we have the infamous xbox and our wi-fi and all that stuff so that is that and then of course we have a tv in here we have a small tv because as much as i want to get a big tv in here darius says that he prefers to play the xbox on a small tv so compromise okay <laughs> We have this small TV in here that is very small for the dresser, but it is what it is. So that is all of the info for our bedroom. And then in this corner, last thing is this floor length mirror from Ikea. The same one that I have in the office. And I've had this mirror for such a long time. I think everybody needs to have some sort of floor length mirror in their home. Only thing different in here now is I added the same plant that we have in our dining room to our bedroom because we don't have any greenery. And once I remove this here and um, put the cherry blossoms back, I think it will add a nice touch to the office and it still keeps, not the office, the bedroom, and it still keeps it pretty minimal and modern. This is the bathroom that I use for the most part and 
Darius has his stuff stored in here. So it looks exactly like the other bathroom. It's just a little bit bigger. I keep some lotion and my hand soap right here on this tray that I got from Target. And then these dispensers are also from Target. I have my Lux Unfiltered Lotion. And then on this side, I have these glass jars that I got from, I think the container store or from CB2 or Crate and Barrel, one of those three. And I just have some Q-tips, some cotton rounds, and then some bar soaps. And it serves as a little bit of decor in here too. Aside from that, I just have some wipes because you just, you need wipes. Some Kleenex, which I need to get a new box because this one's running out. A toilet brush, some Febreze, our trash bin. I love this trash bin because you can just click it to open it and then click it to close it. It's chic, simple, slim, but it holds a lot of trash. So you're not finding yourself constantly having to throw it out so that's really nice and then it also has this huge mirror that has a gold trim four lights up there i also have these flowers in here that my cousin gave me which is really sweet so that is this bathroom pretty simple not much going on in here and then over here is Darius's closet where he stores all of his clothes and then my shoes are in here too it's a pretty big closet but it is, I'll show you the top part because the top's not super messy, but yeah, he stores all his clothes. And then on the bottom we have our shoes, laundry, fun stuff. Oh, and this bathroom has a little bit more storage. Of course it has that whole closet, but it also has this right here that stores, I store my skincare stuff in here, hair care stuff in there, towels. Like this can be a little bit more organized, <laughs> but I was not about to do all that just for the video. And then up there I have these three bins that have extra things like my shower gloves, hand sanitizer, bar soaps, and that wraps up the bathroom. That's it for today's apartment tour. I hope that you enjoyed and maybe got a little bit of inspo for your place, whether it's for fall or not, just in general, some home decor inspiration. Definitely make sure to check out my Amazon storefront because I have a lot of my stuff already linked on there and I'm constantly adding stuff on there. And then anything else, I will again link below in the description box. If you enjoyed this video, if you like my home decor style, if you wanna just keep up with me and my life, make sure to subscribe to this channel down below. And that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you all in my next video.